What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mike Tripping, and I'm back with another reaction video. Now listen, man, today we got Darman bonus. Daughter runs away from her judge mental mom. Now look, bro, I ain't even gonna lie. Sometimes it's okay if you outgrow your parents. You feel me? Like, excuse me, in um certain situations where if all they're doing is disrespecting you, abusing you mentally and physically, you feel me? Like, it's okay to to take a step away, even though they brought you into this world. If they're treating you like shit, why would you want to stay in that situation? It's like a toxic relationship, or it's just like, you know what I'm saying? When you around uh, like certain people and they just like kind of like treat you like you're not really all that, you know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't you excuse yourself from that situation? Same thing applies here. And listen, I get if you don't agree with me, I understand like that's your parents, you know, they did a lot for you, you know, raising you. And stuff like that, giving you a house to live in, like give, uh, putting clothes on your back. I get that, bro. But anyways, man, trying to get 600 subs before the end of the year. So, without any more further ado, let's get straight into the video. No bat, man. Maybe if you lost a little weight, you could finally wear some of those nice tops I and got And then you. we're fuck Yeah, we're fuck Yeah, okay. So, off rip. Off rip, we're already starting with this running, disrespect, bro. Or else you're going to get stuck in this size. All right, let's get to move on. Bus is going to be here in 10 minutes. Wow. Damn, it's bro. She's trying to smile, but she can't, bro. That's fucking sad. Is that what sad. you're wearing? Is there something wrong with it? For real. It's just so mannish. What does mannish mean? I'm just saying, it wouldn't hurt if you dressed a little more girly. You know that's what. Oh, boys mannish. Like. Okay, my dumbass. Like, I thought it was like a word she was saying. This is. She's tall as hell, bro. I mean, jacket is kind of big. They got a Wi-Fi computer. Y'all see that? School? Hello? This is Vice Principal Sanders at Twin Oaks High. Yeah. I'm about your daughter, Emily. What is happened? okay? I'm afraid there's been an incident. We need you to come down to the school. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I'm you see out there way. slamming everybody. Oh, my God, but he's ass. Hey, listen, bro. Listen up. YouTube Premium coming soon. We have strict rules about fighting at Twin Oh, Oaks. damn, she got fucked up. I'm afraid up. I'm going to have to suspend Emily for the rest of the week. I hope you're proud of yourself. This is outrageous. It was Alyssa's fault. She called I don't want to hear it. You have done enough to embarrass me today. Embarrass her? Emily, would you mind just waiting outside, please? Wow, bruh. Nah, whoever Alyssa is, <laughs> bro, she gotta be... A fucking descendant of Mike Tyson, bro. Like, fam. Alyssa knocked her ass. Oh, my God. I would like to share Emily's most recent report card. What is this? A's, B's, C's, D's, and... Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I had no idea. Fuck. We haven't shared this with the parents yet. But I just gotta ask you. Is everything all right with Emily? She was a top student once. I don't know, but I can assure you she will be dealt with as soon as we get home tonight. I hope you don't see this as a reflection on my parenting. I mean, it's kind of hard not to. What were you thinking? It wasn't my fault. Well, it was a rhetorical question. Clearly, you weren't thinking. I hope you know you're grounded for two weeks. I'm what? just going through a lot right now, okay? Oh. Please, Emily. You're a 15-year-old child. Your life is not that difficult. And what are you even doing in school all day? Are you trying at all? Look at these grades. They are shameful. Fuck. You know Janet's kids get straight A's? See, that's where it comes from, bro. That's where it comes from. It comes from the parents motherfucking not helping, and they just out here comparing. Oh, oh, your, your cousin's in school for this. Oh, but but your 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 little sister's younger than you and she's already accomplishing way more. Like, bro, we all have our different fucking um our our our, our different schedules. We all on a different fucking time frame, bro. Just because people that's younger than you blow up way quicker than you do does not mean that you're never gonna blow up. It does not mean that you fucking miss your chance, bro. You just gotta keep on grinding, bro. You know the phrase when people say God has a plan for you, bro? It's literally that, fam. 
is literally that. You just have to go through life. You have to experience things. And then from there, you got to make a decision. Sometimes your life experiences make decisions for you. Every single time I see her. What am I supposed to do with this, huh? Sid. I don't know. <laughs> Janet is never going to let me hear the end of this. You better figure something out, and quickly. Because I am not going to let your bad grades embarrass me in front of the entire neighborhood. See, bro, see, not I'm even think about her kid, mother. bro. Is that what you want? Don't you realize how much your actions reflect on me? Damn, she just walked out. I don't even blame her for real, bro. Oh, you're fam, it's not it's not even about her, bro. It's her it's just about her mom. Now, young lady. <sighs> She's making it about herself when it's clearly about her daughter, bro. Her parenting is ass. <sighs> so I wonder what happened like why did she start treating her like kind of ass Sweetie, I think we should talk oh she's already gone. Emily <laughs> she's already gone she's already up out of here bro it's great for you if you're not nah, hey man bro oh my god bro this shit reminds me when I was a kid like bro how many bro how many of y'all when y'all was little like your parents would like ground you or some or like you know what I'm saying? They just keep yelling and yelling and yelling at you. And you like, man, I had enough, man. I'm about to run away in this bitch, bro. And then you go ahead and you grab a bag, bro. And you pat that bitch with like one toy, bro. You pat that bitch with some gummies, some fruit snacks. And you pack up and everything like that. And motherfucker, you really, like, you about to run away and shit, bro. I'm already gone. Yeah. You see, at school... The girls make fun of me for my clothes, my looks, and at home, you criticize my body, my grades. I can't win or even escape from feeling judged all the time. Whenever I've tried to talk to you about what I'm going through or try to get help with my homework, you either ignore me or tell me you're too busy to listen. Damn. I've had to keep everything bottled up inside. And it's just building and building until yesterday when Alyssa made fun of my outfit for the hundredth time. Oh, and then she was done with it. I tried to walk away, but she pushed me. Oh, so shit. So I had to defend myself. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're not going to show. Oh, yeah. Life. Then she just pushed her ass back. Gone, I just want to see what gave her like this on her face. embarrassing you ever again. Maybe it'll make things easier. Damn, she cleared her shit. Nah, she took all her stuff. Oh my god. Bro, she took all her stuff. She took all her fucking stuff and she ran away. Like, fam, 10-year-old me, if my mama would've got me mad, I would've grabbed my bag, packed my shit with one toy, motherfucking two bags of Lay's chips, and motherfucking, like, that's it, bro. No clothes or nothing. No clothes or nothing. I, would, I was just going to run away and run wear the same clothes for however long until I grew up, bro. Motherfuckers be ready to run away and have nowhere to go. But damn, it, it look, I mean, it looked like she, she know where she going, I guess. She got somewhere to stay. Bus ticket. Why would you leave your bus ticket fucking behind? And how did you get $75 to pay for it? No. I'm so sorry, baby. Nah, now it's... Now it's I'm sorry, okay. Emily, oh, shit. God. Are you okay? Wait, 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 wait. Leave me alone. I don't want to hear it. Damn. I am She's so not even hugging sorry, her back, bro. I'm so sorry for how I've been treating All you. Alright, now she is. I have been selfish and unself-centered, and I had no idea what you were going through. But I should have. I should have known. I don't know. But I promise you things are going to be different from now on, okay? I don't know. I'm so sorry. I don't know. But won't all the other parents judge you for having a burden of a daughter? <laughs> Come here. Come here. 
I need you to know something. You are not a burden. You're a blessing. I'm so ass. sorry for making you feel that way. She just miss having I'm someone so to do the dishes. Mommy. I love you so much. Thank you, Mom. That means a lot to me. You sure you don't care what Shannon has to say? No way. Besides, I got your back. No matter what. Now let's get you home, baby girl. Hey, Darman fam. I hope you love that. Darman. Please That's remember it, though? That I was expecting something stories, else. We're changing lives. Listen, Darman, I, I don't care at all, bro. But anyways, man, listen. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to follow me on more platforms for more content, make sure you guys go ahead. Visit my description. Got four links in there. And listen, hopefully you guys have a great, wonderful rest of your day or night, depending where y'all at. And make sure to always, always, always respect your mama, man. Peace.